Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's Monday Must Have. So today for you, I have the Maybelline Made For All lipsticks. I do have all seven shades that I'm going to be trying on for you. I'm also going to be giving my first impressions review of this lipstick that is supposed to fit any skin tone. So if you'd like to see swatches and yeah, my little opinion on these lipsticks, then please keep on watching. Like it said, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so subscribe, hit that notification bell. I would super duper appreciate it. Um, I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come hang out, come chat with me. I really do love getting to know my viewers and subscribers. Okay, so I found these at my local um, Kroger and these regularly retail for about $8. And I did get them on sale for $1.44, but they have seven universal shades that's supposed to fit 50 different skin tones. It was tested on 50 different skin tones, and this is this line of lipstick is supposed to just look amazing on everybody. And um, money back guarantee is on that as well. So yeah, I've got all seven shades I'm gonna be trying on for you today. And I'm super excited to try these because I actually didn't hear anything about these, and I've never, I personally haven't seen like a review of these, but when I did find them on sale, I had to pick them up. So this does have honey nectar in them, and it does come in their regular like satin and matte shade. There's only one matte shade, and it is a red. So but anyway, I'm super excited to get on with this. So let's go ahead and try these. I do have these in order from lightest to dark, darkest based on like the number. So very first one is called Spice For Me, and it's number 370. And it's just a regular, like, bullet lipstick. It smells like a lipstick, but this is Spice For Me. And, of course, I didn't bring a mirror, because I'm awesome. You know, but, okay, we're just gonna do the best we can, but... Ooh. Very smooth. Very, very creamy. That's beautiful. I can't see how this shade would be universal flattering. It's warm, but it's not too warm. I don't feel I don't feel like it makes my teeth look super yellow. I like this shade a lot. Perfect for fall, I think, and it looks really pretty with this eye look. But this is spice for me. Okay, so the next shade is called Pink for me. Looks like a really pretty kind of dusty, rosy shade, which pinks don't look super great on me, so I'm, I'm kind of curious about this one, but let's go ahead and try this one. Ooh, very pretty. These are very, very pigmented so far. I do think that's a really pretty pink. It's pulling a little bit purpley on me, I think, but very, very nice. I don't feel uncomfortable in this. Um, there is a fuchsia shade we'll try on here in just a moment, but this is really pretty. I think it's gorgeous, but this is pink for me. Okay, so the next one is called Mauve for me. Looks kind of similar to the pink for me, but... Very, very pretty. Let's go ahead and try this one. Ooh, that's beautiful. Really nice point on these, so it's really easy to get onto that Cupid's bow area. That's beautiful. I love this one, but this is mauve for me. Super pretty. Okay, so the next one, this is the fuchsia one, and this is fuchsia for me. Very, very bright. Let's go ahead and try it. Ooh. Definitely looks a little bit more hot pink like in the tube, but really, really pretty. Gorgeous pink shade. This is 
I'm, I'm surprised because once again, I'm kind of worried about pinks on myself, but this is beautiful, but this is fuchsia for me. Okay, so this next one is the matte one, and this is called Red For Me, and this is the only matte in the line, but super pretty. It looks like a little bit of a blue-based red. Very, very pretty. Ooh. This is like a classic, classic red. So pretty. Wow, that is extremely creamy for being a matte. Feels really nice on the lips. Does feel a little bit heavier than the satins, but this is beautiful. So this is the matte red for me. Okay, so the second to last one, this is called ruby for me. And this does look quite a bit brighter than the matte red, but this is ruby for me. really pretty as well. These are so opaque, it just takes a few swipes and your lips are covered. This is really, really nice, really comfortable, but ruby for me. Okay, and then the last shade, this is plum for me. And this is it's 388, so it does say that this is the darkest, but this looks beautiful. This looks perfect for fall. Let's try it. I love plum lipsticks personally, but... That's beautiful. I don't think it's the darkest, but it's a beautiful berry tone. So this is Plum For Me. Okay, so that was all seven shades of the Maybelline Made For All lipsticks. I have to say, I'm extremely impressed. Um, very silky, very smooth, very opaque, very comfortable on the lips. Even the red matte one, um, super, super nice and comfortable on the mouth. Um, I do think that this is a really cool idea because I know it can be hard for a lot of people to try to find the right tone to go with their skin tone because some tones look better on cooler skin tones or warm or neutral or olive. And with these being tested across 50 different um, skin tones, skin shades, and I've seen the swatches online and it does look beautiful on all these different skin tones. I do think this is a really good idea, especially if you want to try some different colors. Maybe you're not super comfortable picking out your own red or your own mauve. You know, this Maybelline line is, I think, the way to go. Um, they are cheaper on Amazon. I'll go in and link these down below. It's an affiliate link, but you're welcome to use them, but you definitely don't need to. Definitely recommend checking out your local grocery stores or discount stores to see if they are on sale because for $1.44 a lipstick, you know, you know, that's a really good deal. And I know I live in a place where they do have makeup on discount a lot, but... I'm really excited that I got the whole entire line. I don't think I have the whole entire line of any lipstick collection, but I'm glad I do have these because they're really great and they're definitely a Monday must-have. I personally do really love Maybelline lipsticks. They're just really, really good. And yeah, I think if you're looking for a new lipstick shade for the fall, um, then I would definitely recommend these. I think the Spice for me is absolutely beautiful. It's the first one I tried on. And then I really love the Plum for me. Um, these two, the one that I'm wearing right now is the Plum. And then this is the Spice. I think they're perfect for fall and just really comfortable, opaque, easy to apply. So yeah, the Maybelline um, Made For All lipsticks are awesome and definitely a Monday must have. But anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's Monday must-haves. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. I'd super duper appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comments. Have you tried any of these made-for-all lipsticks? What did you think? Did you like them? Let me know down below in the comments. 
Um, and just so you know, I do have a Macari page where I sell discount makeup and I actually have four of the shades up there right now. Um, you're welcome to check it out if you'd like to. I'm not trying to push on anybody, but they are up on my Macari page right now. And they're brand new, of course. But anyway, um, I'll have it linked down below if you're interested. And I do have another YouTube channel where I upload some days a week all about budget food. And I also have a Facebook group where we just kind of hang out and chat and stuff like that. I'll have those linked down below as well. And of course, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a budget glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.